Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, cats and kittens, dogs and puppies, hamsters and hamlets, to the greatest game show of all. Did you know? My contestants today, who are visiting here for Easter, are Cadence and Chip. Give it up for them. Here's how the game is played. I, Callie, will ask a question starting with the words, did you know? And you will respond to the question by either saying, no, I didn't know that because it isn't true. Or, yes, I did know that because it's true. The one who correctly responds to the most did you know questions wins the game. Are you ready to play? Yes. Okay, question one. Did you know that my best friend's dog's name is Mr. Biscuits? I didn't know because it's true. I didn't know that because it isn't true. Oh. Cadence, you responded correctly. That means you're right. My bestie's dog is named Mr. Biscuits. Okay, question two. Did you know that Jesus said rocks would cry out his praises if people didn't? I didn't know that because it isn't true. I did know that because it is true. Chip, you are right. One day, as Jesus was coming, people were praising him and some thought they should quiet down. But Jesus said if they did, the rocks would shout praises. Okay, question three. Did you know that Jesus died on a cross? I did know that because it is true. I did know that because it is true. You are both right. Wow, did you know that Jesus died on a cross? Why do I feel like there's more to this story? There is, Callie, remember? Yeah, cheer up. Maybe our Bible story will tell us the rest. It's time for today's Bible story. It comes from the book of Luke, chapter 24. First, it's important that you know what just happened. Jesus had just died on the cross to save us from our sins. Basically, Jesus had to die so that we could live. Because he died, we can have life that goes on and on forever. That's where the story picks up in Luke. Jesus was buried in a tomb. It was early in the morning and a few women were going to the tomb where Jesus' body was supposed to be. A tomb is kind of like a cave. This tomb had a giant stone in front of it. The women didn't know how they were going to roll the stone away when they got to the tomb. But when the women arrived, they saw that the stone had already been rolled away. They went inside the tomb, but Jesus' body wasn't there. They had a lot of questions about this. But just then, two angels arrived and asked the women a question. The angels asked them why they were looking for someone who is alive in a place like a tomb. The angels told the women that Jesus wasn't dead anymore. He was alive. The angels reminded them of Jesus' own words. He said that he would die on a cross and in three days come back to life. And that is exactly what happened. The women ran to tell everyone what they had heard and seen. They probably asked everyone, Did you know Jesus is alive? It's true! It's the greatest news of all time! Jesus is alive! Jesus rose again and is still living today! Did you know Jesus is alive? Okay, the final question of our show today. For 1,332,984 points. Did you know Jesus is alive? I did know that because it is true. I did know that because it is true. You are both right. And that means you both win. In fact, friends, we all win. Because Jesus is alive. Like the women in our Bible story, spread the good news. You can start by asking, Did you know Jesus is alive? Then tell them all about Jesus. 
I'm so happy Jesus is alive and loves me and you so much. Thanks for learning and growing with me, friends.